Hello guys, how is it going? I hope you are doing good and you have watched all the previous videos and uh, welcome again to the our course Mastering Ads on Reels So in the previous video we have talked about VPN I have showed you how you can connect to the VPN What is the static IP I have already discussed in the Dolphin video I have already showed you that in the previous video where you can watch so in today's video we will be talking about virtual machine okay which is also known as rdp so i will be helping you to create and create rdp as well as i will be doing a setup that is a basic setup that you have to do after purchasing and purchasing a rdp or making making it by yourself right so let's go to the screen and let's start making a rdp okay so this is the portal which is also known as panel okay so there's a button of create if you open a panel you will see a screen like this okay if you get this shortcut virtual machines then it's okay if you're not getting that then you can click here create a resource okay then you see something like this okay this virtual machine just click here Okay, that it will redirect to redirect you to this screen. Okay, here we will choose the configuration specifics specifications. Everything will be chosen here. Okay, so see I'm the subscription. You may be on the free credit of two hundred dollars. Okay, here we will have to put the name. Okay, here you see the virtual machine name. You can put anything. Okay, it's not mandatory, but you have to make sure about the username and password. You must remember that okay so here i will be adding my name just that talk as that of youtube channel so here you see option of region region means the server where do you want to use it from usa from india from europe so in my case i will be selecting india okay i won't change it it's auto selected so i will come down here you have to choose the image that is operating system okay there are number of uh, operating system you can select a, a, as per your need but uh, since you are following my course so i would suggest you to go with this one windows server 2022 data center azure edition hot patch 64 bits generation 2 okay this one you can even go with the lower one that will consume low data okay it won't even consume um, too much data okay it's fine fine you can go with this one then at last it's really very very important focus on this point size okay so it depends upon your needs like what are, what is your purpose let me explain you this thing uh this thing very deeply or thoroughly just have a look here okay if you're using for the facebook purpose just uploading downloading okay uploading reels managing your page then the configuration should be four into 16 GB. Okay, what is 4? Four? 4 means cores. 4 cores, 16 GB. Even you can go up to 4 cores into 32 GB. That's also good. You can go this one. But if you want to run an emulator, for emulator you need a high configuration, high specification. That would be 8 cores minimum minimum 8 cores into 32 gb or you can expand up to 8 cores eight cores into 64 gb so now if you ask me what i personally use i use 8 cores 64 gb that's really awesome okay it doesn't lag and uh, it works very fine very smoothly Okay, you can go for this one if you want to use Amulet. That is not uh, important at all. Even, uh, even the RTP is not important at all. I used my local system earlier when I started working on ads on Reels. I started with those browsers which I have discussed in the previous videos. Those were Dolphin and Incognition. You can go with those one. And even if you would ask me what do I rec recommend. So brothers or sisters, I recommend, I recommend local system. Okay, you can go with a local system. Why? Because RDP has some duration. It will expire after one month, two month, three month. 
So if you want to do this work for a long time, I would uh, recommend you to use RDP. Okay, it's okay to download and upload data. For that purpose, you can use this thing. But uh, for a long run, you should use your local system. With the browsers, I have already taught you about the setup that you can check out in the previous videos, like about uh, Dolphin and Incognition. Right, this is the configuration that you have to keep in your mind while purchasing RDP or by creating yourself. Right, so here I will be using for uh, basic purpose just to manage my pages. So I will choose uh, this one, standard one, standard 4B4MS. Just remember this format. Okay, this name of the size standard B4MS. 4 core 16 GB. That's enough. That's more than enough. It works very smoothly. So here I will be putting the username. Okay, just breathe. One, two, three. Then password. Okay, finally I'm done with the password. So coming down, just click on this one, create disks. Okay, just click on next. So here you will find uh, an option like this premium SSD. We don't need that. It will cause you more uh, credit. Just click on standard SSD. Okay, after that, that's all. You don't have to do anything. Just click on review plus create. Okay, it will uh, run our validation. And after validation, you will be able to click on create. That's the final step. Okay, validation has been passed. Now we will click on create. Okay, that's all about RDP. And now it will take about three to four minutes for the deployment. And after that, we will be able to log in in the RDP. So I will pause this video for two to three minutes because I don't want to waste your time. Okay, time is really precious and you should respect it as you do of mine. So let me pause the video and I will be resuming my video again when the progress, when the deployment is done. Okay. Okay, so finally we are done with the deployment process. Okay, once you are done, you will see something like this. Click on go to the source. Okay, after that you will see a screen like this. Here is the IP. If you want to connect it quickly, you can just copy the IP and paste it in the RDP option. But uh, there are two ways. The first one is just copying the RDP. Okay, I will tell you the two ways here. Just search the RDP. Okay. I will just cut it. I will just control plus V. Then I will click on connect. Okay, then I will enter the username and the password. The username was just breathe. One, two, three. Then the password. Click on remember me. Okay. Don't ask. Click on yes. Okay. And make sure if you're seeing these things like this, initiating, it won't get connected. Okay. You won't be able to connect unless and until you get a status of configuring, configuring or securing your connection. Just cancel it because it will waste your time. Connect again. See, it is initiating. Cancel again. Then click on connect. Okay. Now enter the username again. And always remember. If it's initiating, it will waste your time. Just cancel it and enter it again. That's how you have you have to repeat the steps again and again until and unless you see the status of C configuring report session. That's how you can connect to the RDP. Don't get frustrated. Sometimes it happens. You only see the status of initiating. But as soon as you get the status of configuring, you will be able to log in the RDP. So they are setting up my RDP. Just wait for a while. Okay. So there are some few settings that I was talking about. So let's do that. Then I will be logging off. Just wait for a while. It will automatically appear. So this one. Just click on no. First thing first. Second thing is the setting in the server management. Okay, click on cross. Now just go to this one, local server. Okay, click on that. And here you will see something like this. This one, just focus here. Enhance security configuration. Just click on it. Okay, here you will have to turn it off. And why do we have to do this thing? 
because when you will be downloading chrome or any browser it will be restricting you you won't be able to do that okay so you have to turn it off to use other websites or to use other apps okay for serving you have to turn it off okay now it's off cross it and then you can come here and download anything you want okay you can download chrome or the incognition or the dolphin but uh, uh, with dolphin or incognition we use the vpn but in case of rtp you don't need any vpn right and uh, i have uh, created this uh, rtp in the region of india in the indian in the indian region right in an indian region but uh, we don't have to do that because since we are working on premium content and a premium audience you have to make a rdp of usj server okay and uh, you can use other servers as well but most probably you should have you should make rdp of usa right this is the uh, browser now we can download chrome that's the main browser we often use and meanwhile it's get downloaded let's check the speed as well Okay, let's check the speed. Uh, load the location. Come back. Download Chrome. Okay, we have downloaded Chrome setup. Click on Open File. Okay, it's running. Let's check the speed. Meanwhile, okay, you can check the speed of RDP. It's really fast. The downloading is complete you can see the downloading and uploading speed the ping is just ms uh, just 6 ms see the downloading speed about 2050 gb okay mbs per second and uploading is 955 so that's already pretty nice speed okay so this is our chrome here you can log in your account facebook account and uh, you you must have a confirmed location account right but if you see, if you will be confirming your location in the browser, in the web browser, it will take way more time as compared to the mobile. In mobile, you are able to confirm the location within 7 days to 10 or maybe 15 days. But it takes around 1 month and some days. Okay, so this was all about RDP. I have told you about the setup. I have already uh, given you the recommendation. Okay, you don't need this RDP. Since we had this topic in our course, so I had to cover this thing. That's how I just... Uh, uh, Covered this one, I taught you how you can make the RTP.